A common problem people run into is their bobbin thread coming to the top side where the top thread is too tight. This can happen for just the tension needs to be adjusted or maybe the thread on top has gotten wrapped around a spool cap or an area that it's not supposed to be wrapped around. I'm going to show you the back in a second and show you what it's supposed to look like when you're doing embroidery. Even this really small lettering, see on that R, see how a little bit of the white thread is starting to come up to the top? So it doesn't make it look very, very smooth. Same thing, the tension needs to be reduced on the top side. So on the back, what you're looking for for good tension is that the satin stitch or stitches from side to side, you should be able to see the color from the top. There should be like a little column of white bobbin thread or bobbin thread of your color through there. Now see where in the middle here where it's not, it really, that's where the tension is too tight. And honestly, I had to really just go to the machine and tighten it up. So when you're in the sewing or embroidery sew out screen, touch alt. Right now you've been where you can see your stitches and how many stitches are for each color. Touch the alt button and you go to the function for tension. Now this arrow here um, below the screen, here let's move this down so you can see it, there we go. The arrow below is you want to reduce that down so the red numbers indicate that you have changed it. And by reducing it down, don't be afraid to go down a whole numbers worth or at least a couple taps because point two of a change is not very much. So reduce it down, reduce it down so it doesn't show. No bobbin thread on top, no bobbin thread. Then people always call me, well, what do I do? Just reduce the top tension. And over time, as your embroidery machine runs, month after month, things loosen up on the bobbin area. And you might find yourself coming down lower and lower each time that you go to embroider. Now this is the clue that it's time to have your machine service and everything gets reset to the tighter tensions. Things just work loose after all that vibration and all those stitches that you're actually doing. So if you find yourself down in the one or less than one to get good quality embroidery, go take your machine in for its uh, annual spa day and it will make everything better. They'll reset it pretty much, get everything nice and tight. Your tension's automatically a smaller number than when you're sewing, when you're embroidering, because we do want those threads to pull to the back side. Just don't be afraid to touch it and change it and make it look good when you're uh, embroidering. You can do it. Now, what I could do right now is I can go back. I haven't finished stitching the Sarah part, but I could go back and re-stitch this S, just start back from the begin at the very beginning, re-stitch it, even though it's gonna be two layers of stitching, it'll probably sound a little punchy as it's re-stitching over where it's already stitched, it's okay. When it's done, only if you point it out will anybody notice that this one will be a little bit heavier than the rest of the embroidery. So no matter where it happens, Keep an eye on it. If you see any bobbin thread coming up, you can always restitch it and get it to cover it up later. Now, I have been known if this is black to take a little fabric marker, like an Identa pen, and color those in. If you had a purple fabric marker, now we're not talking Sharpie markers because those kind of bleed a little bit, but you could color that in if it had actually happened. You took the fabric out of the hoop and didn't realize it till later. So make sure your embroidery looks as good as it can be, especially with those smaller stitches where the satin's are so small, the tension just needs to be reduced down.